there's like a balcony and a staircase in that um, rubble and what we call paradise is it's life for people here. I tend to go outside and actually discover a bit of the country and the people and the culture. They told me everything here was cheap like as the price. If you were ever going to pick a spot to have a shop would this not be it? She's absolutely loving this. This was such a success. This Ergo baby is amazing honestly. Check out this. Oh everything is just beautiful here. So we've gone two bays round from the hotel and I'm not sure if you can see that. There's some people up there so I don't want to film where they are but there's like a balcony and a staircase in that um, rubble. I don't know if it's a hurricane or what kind of destruction that was but it's a harsh kind of reality check isn't it? When you have just this kind of beauty and what we call paradise is it's life for people here and you know right next to a five star resort. There are people's houses here there's some nice houses um, but back there there's not so much. What I basically wanted to say was that I don't tend to come to places and stay in the resort. I tend to go outside and actually discover a bit of the country and the people and the culture and this is maybe one of the first places where I've not done that and just walking along the beach here is kind of giving me a little bit of an insight. I mean I can sort of assume what it's like and why it's so protected you know why we're protected in the resort and I think an awful lot of things are hidden um, and that's you know to hopefully increase their tourism because they need the money into the country but yeah just the escape into the five-star luxury really is a bubble and an escape um, and there's pros and cons to it but yeah I just I think it's important to step outside your comfort zone and learn something about the country that you've gone to um, and even just talking to the waiters can be one way of doing that I guess. So these guys just invited us into their little shop and chatted to me a bit so I said that I'd film they told me everything here was cheap like as the price so there you go there's tourism the effect of tourism and they have a cute little cafe as well and some shells that they've obviously somehow found or bought from fishermen or something. So there's like a little cafe there and the locals who are willing to chat to you and you're really supporting them and you're right on the beach so you're still enjoying all the views. But I think it's important to escape from the hotel and see a tiny little bit of kind of the local life. If you were ever going to pick a spot to have a shop would this not be it? Look at that guy, how cool is this? What a view, he's got some beers for sale, he's got the ocean lapping at his steps. Literally the waves just came up to his shop. Oh. Okay, I think this daft mummy has had a workout enough for today. We're going to head back to the hotel, check on daddy and uh, get some food into us before bedtime for this little one. Goodbye from paradise. Thanks for watching.